They know it won't bring him back, but it'll at least give them a little closure. Tonight, a heartbroken family speaking out, demanding justice in the death of a four-year-old little boy. Nathaniel Townsend Jr. was killed last month when someone shot into his house. And today, his family came forward pleading for help in a case that's gone cold. Larry Spruill has their search for justice. <laughs> Unable to get a word out, Marlisha Roby crying as she thinks about her four-year-old son, Nathaniel Messiah Townsend Jr. I just really want to say, I just want justice for my son. He was only four years old. He did not deserve none of this. He was too jolly. He didn't even get a chance to live his life. <laughs> Just those simple facts alone brought Roby into tears again. Please, is there anybody out there that know anything? She says her little son was shot and killed on May 21st of this year, around 1252 in the morning. Police say someone drove by this home on Burwood on Detroit's west side. They fired several bullets inside the house. Nathaniel was there with his family when he was hit. Y'all don't know what it feel like to see a four-year-old boy with a hole in his chest size and bottle cap. <laughs> He ain't even made it to kindergarten. He just started school in September. <laughs> Only thing he liked to do was dance, be with his family, just play outside. Whoever did this, y'all some cowards. Y'all are some cowards. And I hope y'all rot in hell, y'all whole family. And I hope I be there to spit on your grave. And I know that's harsh, but I hope that. And so I want you to take another good look at little Nate's face. His family says they believe, they strongly believe that somebody knows something and they're simply asking for that person to come forward. We're live tonight, Larry Spruill, Local 4. Yeah. Larry, what are police saying? Do they have any leads? Was it a random shooting? Was it targeted? What are, what are they saying? And so Kimberly, I asked the family that and the family is really asking that same question. They're not sure why someone would fire shots into their home. They had little toys in the front yard as well. Police say they are still gathering information and gathering tips. But once again, there is a twenty five hundred dollar reward for any information leading to an arrest. Kimberly 1-800-SPEAK-UP is the number to call and you can remain anonymous. OK, Larry, thanks.